The system structure has important system variables. Some are important, some are very important, and others not that much. The system variables are updated online. Paying attention to them will help you a lot in find what you need from the ABAP code. The SE11 transaction code you can use to see the fields of the system structure. So let me do it now. SE11 then enter. Uh, you can uh, click on data type and then type the sys name right uh, beside it and then you click the display button. Uh, let's talk about some of them. To find one you can click on the binoculars, type the name and hit enter. So let me do it further first. Binoculars sub RC and then enter. Okay, here we are. Uh, size sub RC, it's probably the most important one as it stores the return code of ABAP statements. In general, ABAP statements store the return code in, it, in this variable after execution. It allows us to confirm if the execution was successful and if not, why not? Size sub RC we will have the value 0 for successful executions, otherwise a different value will be stored here. As example, when a database table is read, if it, if it succeeds in fetch records, uh, number 0 will be found in Sci sub rc. Next one is SciTabX, so I again hit the binoculars and uh, enter the name and now enter oh uh, it might be somewhere uh, here on the top size sub rc i'm sorry i, I just typed the wrong name uh, this is site tab x ah, okay here it is uh, so site tab x is the index of internal tables when a internal table is read, the current uh, table index is stored in this variable. For example, if the ABAP command reads the second line of the table, SiteTabX will have the number 2 on it. You see it very often tested after read or inside loop statements. Moving on to the next important one. Let's take a look at uh, dbcnt. Okay, so this is the edited database table rows. Um, after a database table is read or updated, the number of affected lines will be stored in this variable. As example, after a select statement that retrieved five rows, site dbcnt will have the number five meaning to you that five rows were retrieved. Then uh, let's take a look at the uh, DIN NR. DIN NR is the current screen number. It stores the number of the current screen, the one that's currently being processed. In a BAP, very, uh, every single window has uh, that is, it's, it's displayed to you has a number and a logic behind it. So, um, you can use this number to test, for instance, exactly where a uh, user is trying to, to, to do and then responding, respond accordingly. Next one I'll show you is the T code. So, uh, the code is the current transaction code. Site code uh, stores the current transaction code being executed. So, uh, if uh, we, we start debugging, for instance, the VA01 transaction code for creating sales orders, site code will have the constant VA01 stored in it. The next one is just uh, below this one is. SciUcon. SciUcon um, process after input 
triggering function code. Every action, every single action triggered by user is assigned a function code that allows the system to identify what needs to be done. For instance, every menu option and every skin button has unique function codes assigned to them. When a user clicks the save button, system is then able to identify if the action uh, what is the action and differenti differentiate from the exit button for instance. Uh, at last, the, the, the next set of uh, system variables that I will present to you are related to messages. Um, so the first one is MSG ID. So this is um, message ID, as you can see here. Uh, message ID is also uh, known as message class. Uh, which normally used to, to, to group messages for specific purposes, like for instance, message for uh, an entire module, a submodule, or a set of related programs. Next one, this one just behind, just uh, below, I'm sorry, uh, is message type. So, what is message type? Message type represents the severity of message. Messages can give information, or, or generate errors and stop the execution of row uh, of whole routines. The last one in the sequence is message number. Message number is a unique message identifier inside the class. In case you need to see them, but uh, I mean these variables that we, we've gone through. In case you need to see, but you don't have access to SE11 transaction code because it's uh, a transaction code uh, most assigned to developers, uh, you don't have to worry because I, I will uh, made a, make available to you a full list of these system variables as a text lecture for your reference.